Hi guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video I just wanted to share with you my hopes and dreams for season 3 of the L Word Generation Q. Nobody asked what my thoughts were, but I thought I would share them because that is what this whole channel is. In fact, that is what all of YouTube is. It's thoughts you didn't ask for, much less care for. Okay, first of all, they need to wrap this Tibet situation up. I am tired. I say this as somebody who loves Tibet and who used to own a mug with a picture of Tibet on the mug which said T and then Bet and I thought it was really clever and funny. <sighs> I miss that mug. I think they thought this whole will they won't they situation would be fun and exciting but it's not. I'm not having fun and it's not exciting. I just want them to either get back together, just just be together or to just go their separate ways. I am so tired of this will they won't they, Tina sabotaging Bet's relationships, Bet being salty about Tina's relationships. I'm over it. We've already been down this road. Let's move on. Please. Second of all, can we please, can we please have more than five minutes of Gigi and Danny? They are the most interesting couple on the show. They're the most popular couple on the show. They're the couple with the most chemistry on the show. Can we please get more than five minutes of them? Can we just have some Gigi and Danny screen time, preferably with them locking lips and speaking Persian to one another? I would watch Gigi and Danny make sweet lady babies respectfully for one hour. I would watch it for eight hours. I would watch an entire season of just Gigi and Danny that I and I think we should have more of it. I think we as fans who have so I'm not a fan of this show. Sorry, that was no. I mean, I think we as viewers who have suffered through this show for the past two seasons deserve some Gigi and Danny screen time. Also, let's get to know Gigi as a person. We don't really know that much about her. I'd love to get to know her as a character and she has not had that much screen time and yet Sepido Moafi has fleshed that character out so much just through her own natural talents. Thirdly, can Shane please, please, please just get her act together? I'm sick of it. I, I, I'm sick of it. I, I'm sick of the hair. I, I'm sick of her attitude. Just go to the hairdressers. Just go to the hairdressers, please. And stop acting like you're still in your early 20s because you're not. And you got away with it back then because you were very beautiful. I mean, Shane is still very beautiful, but my God, in Generation Q, the vibes are pathetic. I just, I just want her to clean her act up. I just want her to kind of put some hair product in her hair to just wear some nice suits and to get a nice lady. Point number four, we know Alice is bisexual. We know that and I admit, and I've said it myself, I admit there was a lack of continuity, especially in the OG where it was kind of just forgotten, but also that can happen. You know, sometimes bisexual women will just exclusively date other women and I kind of assumed that is what had happened in the OG. I feel like with Generation Q, fine, she's bisexual, but we can have a conversation about her bisexuality without actually having to see the heterosexual parts of that because I don't watch this show to watch heterosexual relationships. I'm sorry. And as a disclaimer, that's not me attacking bisexual women. I love bisexual women. I date bisexual women. I have no prejudices against bisexual women. And I have to say that because I get cancelled every week despite not being relevant enough to cancel, but that's another story. What I'm trying to say is can we just please give Alice a female love interest with some chemistry. Alice has so much potential, she's funny, oh my god. If T-Bet are not gonna happen, why don't we just put Alice and Bet together? Alice was there first and she has always been there for Bet. It just makes sense. Also, these two are both very tall glasses of wine, so putting them together would be appreciated by me. I am manifesting a Bet and Alice kiss and love scene. I am manifesting it. Also, imagine the drama if Bet and Alice got together. Imagine Tina's face. Oh my god, it would be. Point number five. Can we stop 
with the character assassination of Bet. We know she's a bit spicy, we know she's problematic, we forgive that because Jennifer Bills looks like a tall glass of wine on which we would like to sip. We know that. She also has a lot of positive qualities about her, you know, she's a very sensitive soul and I quite like that Pippa brought that side out of her and I feel like if they paired her up with the right woman, it would give a chance for her more positive traits to kind of shine through because she works best when she's with a woman who she's in love with, you know? Season two, it was a lot of her just treating people pretty badly, but at the same time, the writing made it seem worse than it was and you know how I feel about Jennifer Bills and you know that I love Bet, but it was grating on my nerves last season the way she was acting because it crossed a line. So I hope in season three they will give her a redemption arc and just let her be happy. <sighs> okay, final hope for season three. Please bring back some of the OG characters. It would make us fans of the original show so happy. Bring back Carmen. Just bring her back and see what happens with her and Shane. Oh, it's a thumbs up. Bring back Helena. Bring back Dana and Jenny as ghosts. I would lose my mind, I would. And bring back Tasha, you know, just bring back some characters who are actually interesting to watch. Please. It could be so good. Okay, those were my hopes and dreams for season three of The L Word. Generation Q. I know that they start filming soon, so I assume they've already got everything mapped out and what I say will have no effect whatsoever, but my god, what we could have. And <laughs> what we're gonna get is two very different things. I don't wanna do this anymore, I just... Okay guys, let me know your hopes and dreams for season three down in the comments section below. If you're a lesbian, if you're a woman who likes other women, come and join the Sapphic Underground Club. Just come and join it. It is drama free, unlike Generation Q. No, there is actually quite a bit of drama in the Discord, but you wouldn't know about that because you haven't joined unless you have joined and then I love you very seriously and I want to be engaged to you. I don't know if I'm ready to be married to you, but I will be engaged to you. And it's still a better love story than Tina and Bet in Generation Q. Okay, goodbye.